Welcome back. We are now less than a week away from tax day. And for those who have not yet filed, there are several ways that you could save this year. Yesterday, we spoke to seven on your side, Zina Pineda. She offered some tips on how you could keep some extra moolah in your pocket. So, Nina, there are some deductions that folks may have missed. Oh, yeah, definitely. 2022, you know, really had a lot of us working from home. So you can write off a portion of that home office if you were self-employed and even some employees. You know, you're thinking Internet, utilities, rent, mortgage interest, things you don't think about, property tax. If you used a portion of your house for working from home, you can deduct up to $5 per square foot, up to 300 feet. That can be like $1,500 off your taxes. Wow. wow. You know, what happens if you have an old drafty house? Well, you know, anything that you did with your home in 2022 that made it greener or more energy efficient, you're going to be able to write that off. If you put in solar panels, even installed, you know, energy rated insulation, doors and windows, insulation, that could be written off. That's all part of the Inflation Reduction Act. It was signed into law in August of last year by President Biden. And if you bought an electric or hybrid vehicle, that can be $7,500 on Ooh, taxes. Fantastic. Amazing. We were talking about this earlier. Um, you can write off a dependent who's not a child right. if the person is living in your house yes. and you're paying their bills. Yeah, is that right? I, I, so I, Uncle Gino in my basement who's been boy, like <laughs> eating out of my I fridge mean, you know, for seven that, years. If you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, or some sort of, uh, you know, Uncle Gino, cousin yeah. mooching off of you, or even if you know you're helping someone who may have fallen on hard times and lost their job, you can write them off as a dependent. Huh. They have to be living with you full time. Mm -hmm. And they can't make more than $4,400 in a year. But if you're paying for at least half their living expenses, you can look into that credit. Ooh, wow. And it can be up to 500 bucks off. That's a big difference. That I don't think is. people know about that, certainly. Um, so you have some really fun things on your list. Influencer pets. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And a p taking a pool off your taxes? Well, listen, we talked to the experts. This comes from folks at TurboTax uh, under the category of fun stuff. So say you have a pet and that pet, you put them on, online on TikTok and they went viral and you got some money from that. A lot of people pay you for that. You can now write off their grooming, their food, you know, any kind of training that they have, you can take that off your taxes. So you better teach your, your pets some tricks. Wee right? wee pads. <laughs> okay, got it. I My know. goodness. That's, okay, so and also, what about the pool? Okay, so if you have a doctor's note or a medical excuse that mm -hmm. says that you need, you have to exercise in a certain way because it's important for your health, you can write off a portion of the pool, you can write off your gym and membership expenses, anything that you have to do to stay in shape and stay healthy, those are some new things that you can really write off and, you know, take that off right off the top of your taxes. Now, traditionally, taxes were due April 15th. They're due when this year? The 18th. People are late filing. A lot mm -hmm. of late filers this, this year, the, according to the IRS. Even if you owe and you're not filing, mm -hmm. you should estimate it and send it in. Estimate what you owe because you do not want to accrue any penalties. And you don't want to make yeah. any red flags there for the future, right? That no, this person you definitely want to avoid it no, 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 at no, all no. costs. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Nina, thank you so much. Good Making best. us smarter, richer, better people, as always. Right, We've been Pineda size. <laughs> yes, I like it. Seven on your size. That's Amen. right. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, by the way, if you uh, you don't know what you owe, file for an extension, pay at least 80% of what you think you owe exactly. to avoid a penalty. And you could watch for more tax tips and coverage from Seven on Your Side today on Eyewitness News.